very appropriate because uh, uh, we now talk about servant leadership. And uh, Filipinos now rising above the desire for power or position just to be able to serve our country to achieve. And that, that can happen only when we achieve solidarity. And uh, I guess that is uh, the message that I would like to share about Gawad Kalina. And uh, it is about solidarity to, to end poverty in our country. Uh, the, the goal of this uh, summit, as it was in last year's summit in Australia, and the year before that in Singapore, and the year before that in Boston, Massachusetts, and next year will be in Paris, is for us to unite Filipinos all over the world. Uh, to rise above partisan politics, to rise above rivalries, above uh, uh, parochial uh, interests, for us to be one people. And uh, wherever the Filipino is now in the world, to all continue to all see the Philippines as home and to see every Filipino as family. And uh, so when we see the Philippines as home, we will never uh, abandon it. We will never, uh, we will not, we will not bash it. And uh, if we see every Filipino as family, then no Filipino is considered an enemy. So we will not follow a path to conflict. And uh, I am proud to be Filipino, and this is for me the best time to be a Filipino. We are starting to be seen in the global community as the land of the honest, and as the land of the just. But I'd like to say that uh, ever for the last 12 years since we went global, it is for me, the Philippines is the land of the brave. We have uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of everyday uh, heroes who would go to dangerous areas like Sulu in the Abu Sayyaf territories to make them safer for the next generation. We've seen uh, uh, students from top universities in Manila uh, overcoming their fear to serve in the slums of uh, Balum Silang, Payatas, and Smoky Mountain. And we've seen the Filipinos in Canada uh, rising above also their own uh, 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 their own uh, needs to be able to contribute generously for the sake of our country. It's them in doing this to support family. But with Gawad Kalinga, they're starting to see that uh, that their definition of family has expanded beyond their, uh, their, their blood relatives. But uh, for them to realize that the future of their own relatives back home is dependent on how we can work together to address the key and twin issues of policy and corruption. And uh, what is happening in the Philippines to me is the greatest revolution. Uh, and uh, this is what Rizal was all about, for us to finally be free. And uh, I like my, I love the thought of my children. My grandchildren, I have eight, will be growing up in the land of the honest and the land of the just. Gawad Kalinga fought for social justice by providing land for the landless, home for the homeless, food for the hungry. And we realized that Filipinos are able to go beyond charity and dole out and to really uh, be committed to a vision, the audacious vision that we articulated, the poverty by 2020. In the beginning, we were tatawanan, para iniwan ang mga kaibigan. Ah, na realize ko pala that uh, a no nation was built without sacrifice. Now, and uh, and uh, the kind of revolution we're seeing now is not the revolution uh, uh, of, uh, that 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 is uh, with bloodshed. It is a peaceful revolution, and it is. Uh, when Filipinos simply decide to be the honor and for them to walk the talk, for them to practice what, this, what they preach. And now we realize that this is a season for faith and patriotism because we have been practicing our Christianity and our citizenship badly, at least I was. And uh, that also led me to, to take this journey and uh, many people took it with me. And over a hundred communities in the Philippines were built because of the sacrifice of Filipinos here in Canada. And uh, as you can see, Sunlight has recognized the work. And uh, when the international president of Telus goes to the Philippines, he visits the Telus uh, uh, Kawakalinga villages. We have uh, 
a legacy of hope, now it's a legacy of trust. No, and uh, I want like, to thank Idoy. I am proud of him being a uh, very successful Filipino in, in North America, being the most competitive market in the world, and for the many opportunities he has opened up for Filipinos, not only in North America, but in many parts of the world, but whatever success he has, he has brought it to his hometown in Kubota. Pati yung international CEO ng nila, dinadala pa niya doon at pinapahalo pa niya ng simento, pinapabuhan niya ng halutang simento. No? At makikita mo brilliant young Filipinos like Francis building the future here in Canada. No? Uh, but also seeing that, that, that he can live with honor if he can also contribute towards uh, ending poverty in the Philippines and, and building a first world country. So the, the next phase of Gawad Kalinga after land, houses, alam mo ninyo siguro na after Sendo, we will be ang to the legacy as art of half a billion to Gawad Kalinga to build 5,000 homes. We will be given the SM, the two houses, we will be given the Shell, the two houses, Berjaya, we will be given the 1,000 homes, and the two houses, 1,000 homes for the next five years. No? So, nakikita natin ngayon na we have gained the trust of the major corporations and these are people who do a lot of due diligence. <laughs> Hindi sila mahilig sa intriga. Okay? <laughs> so, tingin ko kahit na you know, we can have our own you know, a little uh, conflicts or, or maybe uh, disagreements, but when the major players of the world start to give the global awards the recognition of Filipino initiative. It should be a pride for every Filipino. I'm very proud of Pacquiao. I'm proud of Jessica Sanchez. Pero sa tingin ko, dapat lang sa Filipino should be proud that this year's winner for the Global Social Entrepreneur of the Year of school, which is the Nobel Prize for Social Development, is the Philippines because of Gawad Kalinga. So I think that is very significant because that is a victory of about a million volunteers that we've had since we started. And it has improved the lives of about a million people in our country. And so that's the reason, of, these are the awards that will allow us also to reach our goal of ending poverty for 5 million Filipinos by 2024. This is the work of every Filipino. So sa tingin ko, na from now on, lahat tayo, lalo na from my generation, we make a very strong personal commitment to be the, to, for us to be, to bring the good news about the Philippines to the Filipino community because malungkot kung tayo ang huling alam yan and all the opportunities will be taken over again by the Singaporeans, by the, by the Koreans because they don't realize now that this is the Asian age and the Philippines now is the best gateway to Asia. That is <coughs> But Asia, the best gateway to speak English, we have, we, we, we have now an honest government, and we now have a new generation of Filipinos who will be honest and who will also uh, create wealth in our country. They don't challenge nothing. The next generation of Filipinos should be producers, not just consumers. The next generation of Filipinos uh, will be wealth creators in the Philippines and not just job seekers abroad. And the next generation of Filipinos will not just be politicians and professionals, they will be painters first. If we have all of this three, then we will be a first world country by 2024. So this is the hope that we share. We will share with you and with the Canadian government. Canada should invest heavily in the Philippines because they harvest the brightest and the best of our people without paying for their education. And we have to tell them that if they invest in Gawad Galinga, more of their future citizens will come to Canada. And that we will also, they will also have a home in Asia because they have made a home in Canada for half a million Filipinos. So the Philippines will be home to Canada in Asia. So the Filipino and us, the global citizen. Four of my grandchildren are Cappuccinos from Europe because my son-in-law is from England. Two of them are Americans. So a Filipino, to be Filipino is no longer about legal citizenship, about color of skin, or about distance. Anyone who loves my country is a Filipino. Anyone who bashes my country should be should be sent to Siberia. <laughs> <laughs>